What's up guys? Vaz Vegas here with our first ever console unboxing video. So let's open up the Spider-Man 2 limited edition PlayStation 5. So right off the bat here, I gotta say this thing is massive. This is one big and heavy console. Look at this sucker. All right, so I don't know how most people do this, but uh, we're just doing this willy-nilly. We got our trusty friend here, Pokey McStaverson. Damn it. There we go. Say hi, Pokey. Hi, Pokey. That's not funny. Okay, here we go. Now, while we're opening this stuff up, we do have some uh, information to give to you guys. Now, this thing sent me back 780 uh, bucks Canadian uh, for our neighbors to the south in the uh, US there. This thing uh, actually only cost uh, 600 bucks US, so a little bit cheaper. Uh, there we go. So, if you came to this channel expecting a professional unboxing video, you unfortunately have come to the, damn it, that's out, uh, the wrong place. Um, if you just found the channel, not to worry about subscribers right now. But this video did cost me uh, quite a bit of cash, uh, considering. So if you could hit that thumbs up button for me, that would be greatly appreciated. It doesn't cost you anything, it's absolutely free. Now, something is stuck here. So if we were to buy this console separately, let's say that you bought all the bells and whistles, you can actually, if you already do own a PS5, just buy uh, the controller and the um, console covers separately. Another thing stuck. Whoa, almost knocked over a light. So heavy. Okay. So, uh, here we go. Look at this. Very nice. All this good stuff. We just pick out the controller. Let's take a look at the controller first. Ooh, very, very slick. special on the back but yeah it's kind of cool got all the wires and the cables looks like a charging cable this is for the power and this is for looks like HDMI looks like a vertical stand actually there's not a whole lot to this and obviously the console itself Stand it up vertically here, just smack the camera. There you go. So one side there, we got the, the red face plate. And then there's, I guess, what you would consider the back side. That's the spider logo there. So yeah, that was quick. So if you're gonna buy this uh, thing uh, separately, Let's say you've already bought a PlayStation 5. Uh, as of the recording of this video uh, in Canada, a PS5 is going to set you back $650. And in the US, that's going to set you back $440. Now, if you're going to buy a Spider-Man 2 controller, that's going to set you back $100 Canadian and $80 US, which is uh, surprisingly high for the US uh, price point. Now, I did buy a second controller. Mr. Booster is holding that for us. They said it was the last one, so I jumped all over that. Now, the console is going to come with a game voucher, a downloadable code for the Spider-Man 2 game. Yippity-dippity. Now, it's kind of weird that the console came out so far ahead of the game, but what can you do? If you were to buy the game separately, it's going to cost you $90 Canadian or it's going to cost you $70 US. 
Now, if you're going to buy those console covers separate, which I guess you can, I don't know if you had to pre-order them to get them or if you can still buy them, those would have cost you uh, $85 Canadian uh, and $65 US. So add it all up, long story short, all this stuff separately would have cost me $830 Canadian. So I actually saved 50 bucks by buying it as the bundle. Now for the US, if you add everything up, it's gonna cost you $600 US, which is exactly the same as what the console would cost you. So you're actually not saving any money. So no big loss if you already have a PS5 and you wanted this stuff. Now just a little bit of information on this sucker. I gotta go to the side of the console here. Got uh, 825 gigs for the hard drive. And then everything that comes with it here. You can see on the side, obviously the console, controller, base, HDMI cable, power cable, USB cable, instruction manuals, Astro's Playroom, whoopie ding, and the voucher for the Spider-Man 2 game. There we go. So yeah, if you're gonna ask the question, was buying this particular limited edition a good value? And I would say if you're living in Canada, absolutely. But if you're living in the US, not really. Well guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And like I said before, you don't gotta hit that subscribe button, but if you could hit that thumbs up button for me, I would greatly appreciate it. And like always, take care of yourselves and do what makes you happy.